for our series, Pushing the Limits, we're introducing you to one of the most physically demanding Olympic sports and a young athlete hoping to make history this summer in Tokyo. 17-year-old Evie Leibfarth is forging ahead with her rigorous training in canoe slalom, despite uncertainty over the, whether the summer games will be canceled due to COVID concerns. Mireya Villarreal recently spent the day with a young American at the U.S. National Whitewater Center near Charlotte, North Carolina, before she heads to Japan next month. At just 17 years old, Evie Leibfarth is forging a new path to the Olympics. Since the 1970s, canoe slalom has been a summer games sport in which only men could compete, until now. Here's how it works. Athletes navigate a whitewater course passing through a combination of upstream and downstream gates. Leibfarth will be the first woman ever to compete for the U.S. in this category. People will come after you, but you are the first. It's so fun to be a part of something when it's going to be in the games for the first time. So I'm not worried about the pressure of it. And while she may not feel the pressure of competing at this level, she does recognize the significance of her presence. So this year, it is completely gender equal, two women, two men. You're 17 years old and you're talking about gender equality. <laughs> uh, how do we get to this point? I remember being 12 years old and like pestering all like the older athletes about like, why are there more men in this? Leibfarth's love for the sport came well before she started competing on an international level at age 12. Just out of diapers, Evie was introduced to kayaking by her dad, who was also a professional athlete. She would sit in my lap and we'd go down very easy rivers yeah. and uh, she would just smile and laugh. And then she got her own little kayak and uh, just took one, off The pink one, right? Is that the pink one? The little yeah. pink one, yes. And it was so small, it would actually fit in the front seat of our car. We'll go down, down, down. And then after the bridge, there's a dive on the right. We'll Lee Leibfarth isn't just Evie's dad. Once you're warmed up a little bit, try to get just a little bit lactic, okay? He's also her coach. Part of your job it is to push the mm -hmm. athlete a little bit, but this is your daughter also. You know, my goal as a coach first and foremost was to make sure that Evie was having fun in the sport. Is there a healthy competition between the two of y'all? I mean, I yes. hear, I'm hearing a little bit of that now. I bet I can take you out now. <laughs> when COVID hit last year and the Olympic Games were postponed, the family moved across the state to help keep her on track. It kind of allowed us to take a step back and really focus on some of like the really important parts of my training. It didn't really take the wind out of the sails, it kind of did the opposite. When she was competing in 2015, she was competing against girls that were in their 20s and 30s who were just physically stronger than she was. So this gave us a chance to hit the gym, to work with the trainer a little bit more, and really build on things that take a longer amount of time to develop. So a lot of people tell me that I have a hummingbird stroke. A lot of people, when they paddle forward, um, it's kind of more of a slow, strong stroke. I do the opposite. that I have like really fast strokes that no one else has. And it works really well for me. Evie is looking forward to competing in Tokyo, but her overall goal is to win big on her home turf in 2028 when the games come back to Los Angeles. You know, there's, there's a lot of young girls out there that watch and will say, wow, <laughs> this guy could be her. And how important is it for you to know that you could be inspiring the next, the next generation? So important. That's such a big goal of mine is to get more girls into sport and, you know, of course, into my sport, but really like getting them outdoors and young girls can do whatever they set their minds to. Like paddling into history, one hummingbird stroke at a time. For CBS This Morning, Mireya Villarreal, Charlotte, North Carolina. That's amazing. Yes. It's really incredible. I'm looking forward to kayaking this summer on the quiet Cape Cod Bay. Just a couple paddles that's at a time. A, that's a fun sport to watch. Though. Yeah, it, it is really very is cool. Really right right cool. now, the Olympics are still on. I hope for the athletes that for happens. For the athletes' when sake. When you look at the numbers, it's a little dicey. It's a little yeah. dicey, it's but a little you, dicey. you look at how much work she's put in. Yes. You really hope it goes ahead. You go, Evie. You go. Yeah, not but, my kind of kayaking. I like to put a drink there right in the front. <laughs> I think it would spill on those rapids. But they do a wonderful job. I'm looking forward to watching that as well.